Welcome! In front of me I have Apple Watch SE second generation and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on the watch. You can turn it on by pressing and holding the uh, side button right here for a couple of seconds. Basically until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Once you see the logo on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on, you should see this message on the screen, basically telling you uh, to bring your iPhone close to your watch. And once you bring it close to your watch, uh, you should get the pop-up on the screen right here that it says your watch is ready to pair and you can tap on continue. Uh, but if you don't get the pop-up, because sometimes it doesn't pop up, you can simply open the watch application on your iPhone and then tap on start pairing and it will bring you to this page. So basically if you got the pop-up on the screen and tap on continue, it would open this page. But like I said before, if you don't have a pop-up, simply open the uh, watch app and tap on uh, start pairing and it, it will bring you to this page. Now we can select to set up for ourselves or set up for the family member. Select the option you like. And now we need to uh, basically scan the uh, um, watch of our, or rather screen of our watch with the camera up. So we need to uh, pick up our iPhone and point this. Uh, basically, we need to center our watch in this highlighted area of the camera. So we need to point our uh, phone on our, on our watch, center it like this, and the watch should be paired with your uh, iPhone after it's done scanning. Now, we can restore the watch from the backup. So if you had the watch, uh, other watch or um, maybe previous ge gen generation or something like that, you can restore the settings from the backup or you can set up it as a new watch. I'm gonna select set up as a new watch. And here we can select the preferred uh, wrist. So basically on which wrist you prefer to wear, wear your watch. You can select right or left and then tap on continue. Here we need to agree to the terms of use and end conditions. So let's tap on agree. Now we can agree to the uh, to share the analytics with Apple. So if you want to select, send the analytics data to Apple, you can uh, agree to, by tapping on share with Apple. If you don't want to, you can tap on don't share and keep it disabled. Here uh, we can set up a passcode for our watch. So basically, if you want to have a screen lock protection on your watch, you can tap on create passcode and set it up. I don't want to do it, so I'm going to tap on don't add passcode. But if you want to, you can use it. You can also select the option to add long passcode. So basically use the more than four digits. So if you, for example, want to use eight or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna tap on don't add pa a passcode, don't use passcode to skip this. Here we can uh, customize the text. Basically we can increase the size of the text or make it bold. Um, so we can increase the si uh, size by swiping on the slider or tapping on it like that, we can make it bold. Uh, and once you're done, you can tap on continue. You can also skip this step by tapping on setup later if you want to, but once you're done, tap on continue, tap on OK. And here you can set up the profile. You can tap on the date of pair, then change it, uh, sex, height, weight, and you can also enable or disable the option if you're using a wheelchair, basically. And once you're done customizing the profile, tap on continue. And here we can uh, enable or disable the route tracking. So basically, if you want to uh, track your workouts uh, and maybe use the maps, you need to enable the route tracking. If you don't care, you can disable it. I'm just going to disable it. And here we can <coughs> enable the notifications for your health. So basically, we have one option, noise. And um, uh, the, what, it do, what it does basically, it will measure the noise around you uh, and it will notify you if 
at my effective hearing so we can enable or di disable this option so if you care about your uh, hearing and you you're scared it's gonna damage you're gonna get damaged it it's gonna get damaged my bad uh, because you for example work in loud uh, environments you can enable this option and the watch will alert you okay i'm gonna just disable it and tap on continue and here we have the safety page basically uh, the watch can help you with the emergencies it will it can detect the uh, falls crash and stuff like that and you can tap on continue right here and right here um, we can select the style for the app view app menu you have the grid style and the list style select the one you prefer and tap on continue and as you can see now the watch is being set up and we need to wait until it's done you can also tap on get to know your watch to basically see the tutorials how to use the watch i'm just gonna wait until the uh, pairing process is complete or setup process rather right here we can tap on ok or settings so basically it tells you that the watch was added to your uh, Apple ID account and you can tap on OK to confirm or you can tap on settings go to the settings of your Apple ID and remove it from there but for now let's tap on OK Okay, once you see this screen, you can tap on OK and your watch should be ready to use as you can see. And also in the app, you should see the device page for your Apple Watch. Now we can close the app and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.